date of the American Rally Association National Championship presented by Dirtfish takes the team over to Wellsboro, Pennsylvania for the Susquehannock Trail Performance Rally. Located in northern Pennsylvania near the New York border, the stages are extremely challenging and lined with trees that could easily end one's rally. Okay. Neither Patrick nor Florian have ever done this event, so their goal for this rally is to gain experience on these stages as preparation for the 2023 season. Day one brought drama pretty much right from the beginning, as national championship points leader Brandon Seminer went wide on stage two, and his day and hopes of securing good points from this event was over. Patrick and Florian took it easy on the first loop while making changes and corrections to the notes, with the plan to push a bit more on the second loop. That push showed on the first stage of the second loop, where they edged out Texas Dave and KJ Miller by 5.2 seconds and took the fourth fastest stage time. On the final stage of the day, the second running of the waste management stage, things went from good to bad. One of the cars on the road in front of Patrick pulled out a very large rock and there was no way to avoid it. Shortly after, an oil pressure warning came on the dash, so they pulled over to a safe spot on the side of the stage. They then assessed the situation and eventually proceeded to finish the stage, but with that 14-minute stop on stage, the time was not what they were hoping for. Back at service, the crew began diagnosing what went wrong and found the hit on the rock that dented the oil pan in a manner that caused the oil pressure issue and also discovered one of the gearbox mounts had been broken from the impact. The green APU crew got it fixed up in no time at all to be ready for day two. And even though it's not how they wanted to end the first day, Patrick and Florian are optimistic and looking to push a bit tomorrow. First three stages are fabulous, stage one, well, stage technically five. We had a top four or five times, super fun, nice. Uh, we were in good competition with Flynn in the Evo nine or eight, I don't remember, sorry. But uh, we were trading times back and forth. He got eight seconds on me, I got eight seconds on him, and then come waste management stage eight, we both had the same issue. We had all low, uh, low oil temp. I don't know what issue he was, but someone told me that he hit his oil pan and lost oil. Then, I think we did almost the same thing. We bent our oil pan and, and unfortunately we had low oil pressure so we pulled off and we, we limped back to service and now uh, behind us they're dissecting the machine and hopefully we're, we're good for tomorrow. The final day of the Susquehanna Trial Performance Rally begins with Park Expose in Wellsboro, Pennsylvania. Patrick and Florian know with the issues yesterday that caused them to stop on stage, they had some time to make up. Patrick showed great pace with the Mirage on the first loop of stages. Not far off the times Tom Williams was setting in his Ford Fiesta Rally 2. For the second running of Randall, stage 14, they gave it everything they had. Go. 50 left 5, 50. Right 6. Open 30, silent 4 long dip. Silent 4 long dip. 100 100 left four plus quick left four plus quick 30 left six mid right 60 left five minus five minus 100 left six quick into right three minus six quick into right three minus don't get too much on the ground into right five plus quick and left 55, tight and 4 plus, tight and 4 plus, 70, left 4 plus, tidy, open 5, 50, left 6 plus of a small press, 6 plus of a press, and right 6 long, and K left of a 280, left of a press, 30, right 6, left of a press, 30, right 6, and 150, chill, press, left 3, tight and 2 plus junction, left 3, tight and 2 plus junction, 3, tight and 2 plus junction, 30, Patrick and Florian set the second fastest overall stage time, a tenth of a second faster than Ken Block and 2.2 seconds faster than Travis Pastrana. This was a huge accomplishment and they were ready to give it another go for the next stage, the power stage. 
But it was not in the cards for Patrick and Florian. As little over halfway through the stage, they lost power and warnings again came up on the dash. They made it to the finish, but decided not to risk the motor further and called it. They missed the following stage, the final stage of the rally, thus resulting with an unfortunate DNF. Even with things not going to plan here in Pennsylvania, Patrick and Florian gained some great experience on these roads that will surely come into play for the 2023 season. Next up is the final round of the American Rally Association National Championship, the Lake Superior Performance Rally in Michigan. Situated in the beautiful UP, as the locals call it, and during the colorful backdrop of the fall color change, it will be a battle that will come down to the wire on who will take the title. Will Block take his first ever US National Rally Championship, or will Seminuk reign on his parade? Pastrana mathematically has a chance, but both Block and Seminuk would have to go out for that scenario to likely play out. Patrick and Florian will be there as they continue with their goal of gaining seat time and experience this season, and will do their best to give the top runners a run for their money with stage times. That's all for now. As always, thank you for watching, smash that subscribe button, and we'll see ya next time.